Well, here's a Cartoon Network adventure we never witnessed. The Eds got the shaft in Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion where they didn't get to take out the TV remote. And I stuttered a little bit. So I'm a jerk off like they are. Meaning that I am a loser like they are. <laughs> Yeah, I need to stop fake crying. So... Uh. By the way, Warner Bros' name was nowhere to be found on this. Instead, we have Midway as the publisher. Yeah, Mortal Kombat Midway. So... Anyways, we can play Ed's game, Double D's game, or Eddie's game. We all love Ed, so let's do Ed. I wonder what we're going to be doing for some Miss Adventures. Then again, this is probably the Miss Adventures they were doing when everyone was trying to... All the other Cartoon Network stars were trying to save the universe from a TV remote. So, Sockhead, where are we going to get enough ice to make snow cones? By the way, I don't have to skip these cutscenes, because these do not come from episodes of the show. They were created specifically for the game, and you can tell they're pretty cheaply animated, so... Cool your Ed. They create title cards just like the show. Give them some credit there. Collect ice, collect ice cubes makes snow cones. Okay. So that's Eddie's latest scheme, to make snow cones, and why are you finding real ice? You would probably just find some kind of... The real Eddie would probably find some kind of plastic to act as ice. But it still kind of looks like ice, so that's why he would get away with it. Alright, but we need Ed for this. Alright. So we can pick up a basketball, I see, but what are we going to do with it? Let's throw it at Jimbo over here. That didn't work. Alright. Get away, Jimmy! Stop singing! Stop singing! Stop singing! Ed! Get revenge! So, Ed pounding his face on Jimmy did not scare him away, yet a pretty harmless squirrel scared him away. I don't know if that's hypocrisy or just Jimmy being Jimmy. Because he's always near Ed. I like how there's actual physics on this lawnmower over here. So let's kill... Just for shits and giggles, let's kill these squirrels with the lawnmower. Ed, you're going to jail for animal cruelty if you do this. Alright, well, Ed can't do it. So, Eddie gets to do it. Launching stink bombs, therefore poisoning the squirrels with poison gas and probably gonna corrupt their lungs. That's not good, Eddie. And I like how those bottles spark. I like how the ice cube floats away for no reason. That, that ice cube's friggin' dirty, Eddie, but then again, you don't care. Alright, looks like we need Ed again. Oh, never mind. We're doing Eddie's skill. But no, we need Ed's skill, which is to do this hullabaloo. Wow. Why can't Ed do that on his own? Uh, and that, by the way, that's not Ed's walk cycle. Chickens are present in each level? Ch -ch 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 chickens! Don't look at him, Ed! Ed, what are you doing? Ed, wait! He gave us an Easter egg, Double D. That caused a memory card icon to jerk off in front of us. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I need to do a better Ed voice. Ed spots um, a kitty cat. Let's pick it up. 
Yeah, I can't do Ed's voice. I'm sorry. Go watch um, one of the Nostalgia Critics Pop Quiz Hotshot episodes. There's a guy who dresses up and acts like Ed throughout the entire episode. And he does the Ed voice so freaking well. I'm surprised it was not Ed's voice actor, though. It, it wasn't. Oh, I see what we got to do. <laughs> yeah, and you're like charged with like maybe 20 counts of animal cruelty right now, so just get an ice cube out of a cooler. Oh, you're also charged with theft. But then again, scamming is also a crime. And Ed gets to dig a hole too. No, Ed, what you have to do is this. I'm a woodpecker, except with dirt. <laughs> Who remembers that commercial? Well, it comes from an episode of the show, but there's that bumper that had Ed doing that same thing from the episode, except he does the thing, he bangs his head in the sand for like two freaking minutes straight. And then he does the I'm a woodpecker line, except with dirt. The only time I ever saw a bumper go on for that cartoonishly long was pretty recently on the Splat, when they had a fireplace with car with Nickelodeon characters like Rocco, um, Arnold, Ren and Stimpy. It had them sitting in front of the fireplace for, I'm not even kidding here, more than a half hour. During the time they were supposed to be airing an episode of Roundhouse, there was nothing but a goddamn fireplace. So, yeah. I don't understand why it's supposed to be funny, but... Anyways, we found Jimmy again. He's doing his annoying slong. Song, my mistake. Yeah, Sarah the bitch is over there. Double D, you don't have to put up with this. You know? Uh, I guess Double D's gotta go through it with it anyway. It's not like anyone likes him either. Alright. First person shooting mode. No! I'm... I'm shooting you. You know what? I need to go over there and give him a good smack. No, I need to give him a smack. Shut up, Sarah. I know. I'm losing my voice. I can't do it. No. No, do that cry again. Come on. I dare ya. I triple dog dare ya. Come on, motherfucker, do it. Say it. Say it. Cry. Cry, Jimmy. There you go. You did it. <laughs> this is the best game ever. You get to torture annoying little kids. I'm sorry, that sounded... that sounds evil. Then again, there are annoying little kids on a lot of Call of Duty and GTA games nowadays. Especially GTA 5 and practically every Call of Duty game ever made. So this would be everyone's dream. All those people that say, oh, I want to get rid of those... I want to teach those little squeakers a lesson. Here, this is a perfect game for you. So, not to mention, you get to interact with all the classic characters from Ed, Ed, Nettie, the longest-running show on Cartoon Network even to this day. Unless Adventure Time beats it out, but it still has four years to go. We have the annoying little squirrelies. Damn it. Come on, Eddie! Drown it! Never mind. Okay. Uh-oh! 
Oh, we gotta throw the squirrels in the house. We gotta further torture them. Okay. Oh, oh damn it. Stop it. Okay. Prepare to meet your doom. Yes, prepare to meet your ultimate doom. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. I can't do Gur's song. I'm sorry. I keep butchering childhood favorites. I don't mean to, it's just I can't do the voices. I want to relive them just as much as you do. That is, if you are... That is, if... Oh god, I can't get Fusker. That is, if you were a 90s or, or late 2000s... Not late 2000s, early 2000s, kid. Alright, and to... Oh my god, that was abrupt. Now we got Ed is strong enough to lift the fridge. For those of you wondering how Ed is strong enough to lift the fridge, well, don't question it. He's actually strong enough to lift an entire house. No, seriously, go watch the episode Cry Ed. Um, throwing the fridge at the door got us an ice block somehow. Nice. Let's try batter Ed on the door batter Ed, you actually have a name for it? <laughs> I thought that was only the in-game description, not your name for it. Ho oh, oh, ho, look at that! We have coins! That's cool. The Eds actually have money they can keep. Unless the cankers show up out of nowhere. Seriously, the episode when they made Ed look cool, you know, the one where he's all swiggity swag, what's in the bag? The cankers just show up and ruin everything for no good reason. And my sister, when my sister was watching the episode with me, she was like, that's messed up. <laughs> I mean, in many of the episodes, they deserve to lose the money because, you know, they're conning kids, but... Because, you know, like, Eddie's trying to be a show-off-ish jerk. But in... But that episode, they legitimately made Ed look all cool and everything. Oh, well, ac according to the kids, anyway. But the Kangaroos just come and ruin it for no good reason. Check out those just the right size. And I guess we're making snow cones out of meatballs. But you know what? I would like to try a meatball snow cone. So, are you sure this is a scam, Eddie? You're doing- it seems like you're doing legitimate business now. It's just that, well, it's not a snow cone, it's a meatball cone. But sell it as a meatball cone. I'm sure people- kids want to try that. Alright. Okay, so we gotta- Oh, now we gotta continue to con Rolf. We gotta destroy his pig pen. And now, we do service for him. For something we caused. Sure thing, Rolf. We get to use the machine when we're done. <laughs> What's wrong with Eddie's lips? It looks like they're like Wow. Lift and throw the pigs back in the pen. Um, without a gate, I'm sure they're just gonna run out again. I like how the pig's not struggling, it's just sitting there like that. Pigs fight a lot more than that, let's be honest. They can even get quite violent, too, you know? Like, I'm sure there's some videos out there of people trying to catch pigs. In fact, when I was reading one of the trivia pages for um, several Walking Dead episodes, I know I've noticed that during the filming of Season 4, the pigs they used for the first half of Season 4 actually got out of their pen, and Andrew Lincoln actually had to chase them through the field in, the, in front of the prison. I have to chase my new dog all the time. And he's a pain to catch. It's actually gotten to the point where I have to lure him in by ripping a paper towel 
off the paper towel stand and showing it in front of him and hoping in vain that he'll chase after the paper towel that I'm holding. Like he'll try to jump for it so I can snatch away whatever he's chewing on that he's not supposed to be chewing on. Up, oh, see? The pig just walked out. What did I tell ya? Rolf, put a new gate! Alright, well now you're walking in there. Or is there another pig? Is there another pig? Rolf. Rolf. Rolf, my good. Never mind! We just abruptly go in, but now we have a jawbreaker. Jawbreakers! My favorite food group. My favorite food group is jawbreakers! What about crackers or cheese or um what else does Ed eat on the show? I don't know. Alright, meatball machine. Oh, we gotta use double D. Hmm, this should work. Um, double D, did you really have to take apart and put back together that machine? Uh oh. Apparently double D wants this too. I'm sure. See, those look like pretty good frozen meatballs. Oh, God. Ed. You're alright, boy? Buddy? Why did I call him boy? That's something you give to a dog. But hey, my dad calls me boy. Hi, Johnny 2x4, a.k.a. Captain Melon Head. Alright. So we have... We can explore the entire cul-de-sac. How nice. Looks like they recreated it pretty well. Alright. Stick bombs on parade! We are in the cul-de-sac in an open-world environment! It, aren't these fireworks just glorious? Continue putting it down, Ed! We gotta spread all the cheer! <sighs> well, end of the road, but wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow, there is... Who the fuck puts a fence in the middle of a road? The people of the cul-de-sac do, apparently. Peach Creek. And looks like we have a movie booth over here that I don't want to go in because I'm afraid that it's going to play clips from the show. So where do we enter the next level? Oh, right here. Do you wish to go leave this level and go to the next? Okay. So, Sockhead, where are we gonna get enough? What? Okay. So it says that's where the next level is, but no, not really. Alright, well we gotta... Exit to cul-de-sac, yeah. But of course the memory card's gotta jerk off before we teleport, so... Alright. So... I'm getting a little tired now. I got plenty of time to film these videos. So, yeah, I'll do more n next time. See you on the next video. And maybe by then I'll find out where the real next level is.